Hey guys, it's Mahel here and today I'm going to be doing a different type of review with my face and today I'm actually going to be reviewing the Elgato HD60 capture card. Now the Elgato HD60 is quite a solid device and is the preferable choice out of them all out there compared to the Ava Medias and the Hepages and even the normal Elgato which you all love. This little device is so little that you can just carry it around in the pocket or backpack if you're going to a gaming event and you can just record you can go to your friend's house you can record anywhere just name it you can record because if it look at it look at the size it's really small and you can simply just put it in your pocket pack it away and take it with you and it's really light as well the Elgato HD60 was made with one purpose 1080p in 60 FPS. Previously this was not possible on the PlayStation 3 or the Xbox 360 as you could only do 720p uh, 60 FPS and when next gen came along later this was still the case as the Elgato was built for the last gen. The HD60 is good if you want your 1080p 60 FPS gameplay however it's not good for some people for example those who retro record retro games and those who want to record last gen because guess what you can't record retro or last gen with the Elgato HD 60 seen here but you can still do that with the Elgato HD so it works out to be whatever one is best for you uh, if you want to record retro games go with the Elgato HD if you want to record next gen in 1080p 60 FPS go with this device however I must warn you that if you want to get good quality at the same time as 1080p 60 FPS you will need a beefy computer because I tried it I tried messing around with settings and my PC even struggled a bit when you've got a overclocked 6 core AMD 6300 with 8 gig RAM and an R9 285 in the small form factor you know you have for the Elgato they had to get rid of the uh, PS3 AV this is why you can't record last gen however you can actually just put in a HDMI and HDMI for the PS4 with the new HDCP patch and you have your micro USB as well as a audio jack where you can record party chat recently uh, Elgato actually released a cable where you can put one headset into a cable which splits the audio so you can record party chat and game audio at the same time rather than having to do it separately. The Elgato only weighs 106 grams which is pretty solid and like I said really light especially if you compare it to an Ava Media which will uh, weigh a bit more as it's kind of like a box. I will have the Ava Media game capture uh, review coming up soon however for now this is the Elgato and I must say I'm pretty satisfied with it. On screen you have been seeing some footage of the Elgato itself and actually now I will leave you to some gameplay that I captured from the Black Ops 3 beta. Black Ops 3 drops very soon by the time you see this it's probably already dropped and I hope you enjoy. The sound was a bit messed up in this video because I wasn't sure about the settings but you can see the quality anyways and this isn't even at the high highest quality this is still good even though it's not highest quality and this is Bamel here and I will see you in the next video leaving you with some gameplay uh, is up here somewhere apparently not because you can't go up there uh, why can't you grab this there we go it's so bad it's actually scopes oh my god Let's see, can I hit trick around this? Oh, that's so bad. Overdrive, good to go. Oh, crap. Oh, can you do an insta swap? Uh, no. Hostile UAV spotted. You can't do an insta swap, that's amazing. So I'm actually playing on PS4 because I have my Elgato HD60 linked up, which is amazing because for five days I'll be recording videos with Stro because he has PS4 now. I also have Tensor and Kiwi, so I might be making videos with them. Oh my god, I just got electrocuted. <coughs> right, let's go overdrive ready. Let's go ready. Oh wow. We haven't got a single kill with the CSO, we just got switched to a shotgun. Oh 
Hold for Man of War Reflex. I wonder what that means. We've got a hit marker with a shotgun. Brilliant. I wonder if you can actually hit trick shots on this. Oh, I can't even trick shot. What, what am I saying? Like, I had to do all these things and I can't even drop off. And, wow. Really? So, we are 0 for 10. With one assist. Is that it? Hellstorm inbound. Get out of the video. 